Hey everyone, so I have a film review today and I'm talking about Die Hard. Now I never in a million years thought that I would be sitting here talking to you with a positive attitude about Die Hard. Just because from what I'd heard it just sounded like something I really, really wouldn't like. Granted my knowledge basically of Die Hard comes from friends. Die Hard! That's basically all I knew from what um, Ross and Chandler and Joey were talking about. It's basically my knowledge. All I knew is that one of the characters was called John McClane. That's it. But I thought I wouldn't like it, but for film class I kind of had to watch it. And I was like, I'm looking forward to watching it because I keen, I'm keen to see what it's about, but at the same time it's not going to be my cup of tea. Watched it, watched all two hours and ten minutes of it, and loved every second of it. It was fantastic. For those of you who haven't seen it, and I know there are quite a lot of you who probably haven't seen it because I know a lot of your tastes, because um, I just do for some reason. Um, it's about a suspected, and I say suspected, and you'll find out why, terrorist attack, um, or te terrorist invasion on an office building in Los Angeles. And they think the terrorists are there for whatever reason, and they hold everybody captive, and there's a lot of killings. The terrorists, we have to try and find out what the terrorists want, and the terrorists have to try and get it, and they're and I keep using the word terrorist, it's not the right word to use, but if I use the correct word, it'll kind of ruin the plot for you. So we'll just keep calling them terrorists, even though they may not be terrorists. That's all I'm going to say. Um, I'm going to have to try and find out what they want and how they're going to get it. And John McClane is the one who's going to try and stop it. Now, he shouldn't have even, be, even, even been in that building. His wife works there, and he left. His, well, his wife went to live in L.A. and left him in New York because he is a New York cop. He can't just uproot and leave all of his stories. So their relationship was kind of patchy, but he still got invited to there. And he went to this office party, kind of reluctantly. And he happens to be there and is the one who's trying to save the day. He is a fantastic, fantastic character. One of my favourite film characters I've ever seen. I love John McClane. Yes, we have the same surname, so it is kind of beneficial, although his is um, M-C-C-L-A-N-E, mine is M-C-L-E-A-N, um, so slightly different. But I do like to hear my surname a lot in a film, that's very, very nice. So the plot is fantastic, it is a lot more action-packed than I thought I was going to, it's less action-packed than I thought, even though the entire thing is action, which is a really weird thing, I thought it would be more, you know, like, boy toys kind of thing, um, so it is absolutely fantastic, it really does work for me, I love it a lot. Um, there's a lot of running and a lot of climbing and a lot of investigating. It has an almost kind of mystery aspect to it, like what's he going to do next. Um, the, the plot is just sensational. I really, really do love it. Um, what made it perfect for me, though, is the cast. Um, we have Bruce Willis as John McClane. Wow. At the time, 1988, wasn't he the most gorgeous thing ever? I mean, I was, I was not even born. <laughs> that was four years before I was born. But wasn't he just absolutely gorgeous in that film, isn't he? Um, I hadn't heard of this person, but Reginald Bell Johnson plays Al, um, who is a, a California cop. And he is one of the best characters ever. He's just, he, he adds such a lot to it. Yeah, he, he doesn't seem like a major character at first glance, but when you really see what he's adding to the story, he is absolutely fantastic. And he is one of my favourite film characters ever. Um, also, um, Hans. You have Hans, who is kind of the lead terrorist person. And he is played by Alan Rickman. Now there is a slight problem in that. Bear in mind this was some 12, 13 possibly years before Harry Potter films were being made. Snape didn't exist. But I found it really hard to look at Alan Rickman and not laugh. Just because all I see when I see Rickman is Snape. Um, so that's kind of hard. Because it's like, okay, you're Severus Snape. I can't take you seriously. So it does have that element to it, but it brings a little bit of humour into it because as soon as he came into it, the because it was for university I was watching this, as soon as he came on the screen, pretty much everybody in that lecture room just laughed. Because it's just Snape. It's so funny. His career is tainted because of Snape, but it's absolutely fantastic. And I love the aspect of it, the fact that we had Snape being with... Oh, it was great. Um, directed by John McTiernan. I hadn't really heard of him before. I had a look on IMDb, not really heard of anything else he's done. Um, there's a lot of blood in this film. A lot more blood than I thought there was going to be. Mainly the blood is John McClane's um, and somebody else's, but that's that's gruesome. Um, but it is it's absolutely sensational. As I said, hand on heart, hand in the air, I thought I would never love it. But I do. I absolutely love Die Hard. It is now one of my all-time favourite films. And I'm like, Amy, why are you saying that? That is insane. That is not you. But I do. I really, really love it. I just thought it was fantastic. I, I've heard that Die Hard 2, 3 and 4 are not as good. But I'm definitely going to go and give them a go anyway, just to see what they're like and 
see how they compare. So expect reviews of those at some point. But yeah, Die Hard, just absolutely fantastic. And I'm not going to discuss specific favourite scenes with you because my favourite scenes are ones which give away a lot about the plot and the ending. Um, but if you want to confer with me about your favourite scenes, message me or leave me a comment and I will tell you what I thought of those because I have a couple of scenes which I absolutely loved. Um, but yeah, please feel free to leave comments, let me know your thoughts, that's it for just now and I'll see you all next time. Bye!